Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we talked about Juventus versus Leon along with my very good friend Sujit. And in this video, we'll take a look at the next match that is Manchester City versus Real Madrid at the Etihad Stadium. Let me tell you from before that City went to Santiago Bernabeu and they managed to get two away goals. So let's head straight into this video and talk to Sujit and try to find out what can we really expect, how will Madrid and City line up and what will be the outcome of this game. So let's talk to him. Hey bro, hi, welcome back Hello. to the channel. How are you? I am fine, I'm fine. <laughs> I think the viewers are getting a hang of you. Yeah, They're starting know. to like you. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, so just uh, keep on bringing that good information that you always bring for this channel. They love you more. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> so City versus Madrid. What do you expect out of this game? I uh, still think it it might be a City win. See, City has like two extremes. One is like extremely bad miscommunication, like yeah. ex bad errors leading to goal. One is like just a beautiful football. So yeah. I'd expect they'll go with beautiful football because of yeah. the... <laughs> they have uh, to. Yeah, because this of the time event. They have to. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I think it'll be a city win considering Ramos being uh, suspended. Suspended, of course. Mm. Before we get into that, let's talk about the lineup very briefly. Uh, mm. According to you, how do you feel that City would line up? I think both teams will be very technical now, 4-3-3, because that's what yeah. they've been doing the entire season. And yeah. uh, City, again, yeah, 4 3 3 goalkeeper will obviously be Ederson. Ederson. And uh, right back will be Kyle Walker. And uh, middle two will be Eric Garcia and Emerick Laporte. Garcia, I, we've discussed this before, Garcia, because yeah. uh, Otamendi has not had a great time there. But I'd, I'd say one thing I won't be surprised if Otamendi starts just because of the experience he has. Yeah. Yeah, Big that skills. was uh, the po that is a very important point because of the experience that Otamendi has got because of the you know physical presence in the back three, mm. back four. Uh, Otamendi has got the. I, I still feel that Pep Guardiola might go with him, but the preferred choice will personnel be Garcia. choice mm. will be Eric Garcia. Yeah. So at the left back, we think because Mendy is suspended, so mm. I'll th I think that Cancelo will be given a shot at the left back. Cancelo will be playing and uh, Zinchenko will be on the bench. And then uh, up ahead in the midfield, I think so. Rodri, Kevin De Bruyne, along with Bernardo Silva, because they want to be more attacking, because they want to get that goal and Bernardo Silva provides them that uh, attack more than Gundogan does. Yeah, so if they do get a goal, I think they'll start off with this and once yeah. they do get a goal or two, they might switch Bernardo switch Silva for uh, Gundogan. Gundogan. Or even Fernandino. Or Fernandino. Fernandino is the both best are, choice. Hmm, both are those grinding central defensive yeah. midfield type of ah. players with uh, Sterling, Mahrez and Jesus up front. I think that will be the line because uh, Aguero has been injured for a while Aguero now. Aguero has injured. And Pep Guardiola yeah. did say that he is very doubtful for the UCL yeah, clash against Real Madrid. And uh, so, another plus point, if I may say now, about uh, Manchester City is the form of Raheem Sterling. He's been sensational. Ah, in, in the, the past uh, two games, Manchester City has alone scored nine goals. Nine goals, and, and he uh, scored like a hat, two hat tricks, or one hat trick and one brace. Or he something. scored one hat trick, yeah, yeah, like that. Around four or five goals uh, alone himself. Yeah. And on the bench, City will have Foden, David Silva, Gundogan, Otamendi, Fernandino, and Zinchenko. That's a pretty decent bench. I remember the time when uh, Mourinho was asked about the about the best team in Premier League he said Manchester City and then he was asked about the uh, second best team he said Manchester, Manchester City, City B team, B, B team. Yeah. so we of course know about the prowess of Manchester City and their squad depth so mm. very quickly t uh, talking about uh, Madrid uh, how will mm. the lineup Sujit? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll start with the goalkeeper now goalkeeper will obviously be Thibaut Kotwa left back uh, Pearl and Mondi Varan and uh, no Ramos, so we'll have no to Ramos. go with Eder Militao. And uh, right back will be Carvajal. The centre mids will be Cruz and uh, Modric. Centre uh, defensive midfield would be. We Casemiro. can expect. We can expect if we need more intensity uh, in the second half. If Madrid hasn't scored that goal, we can expect Fede Valverde to come on for Modric. Mostly Fede, uh, Fede Valverde will come on for Modric because as you said, the intensity provides. If uh, City has been running down, has been run down and uh, they're very tired and they've not conceded. Fede Valverde will give that push Madrid might yeah. need to get that one extra goal, that one extra chance. So now coming on to the uh, forward line, I think so with Benzema, uh, and Vinicius Jr. at the left side of the pitch. Zidane will go with Essencio on the right. Yeah, and uh, before Not... we forget, Hazard is doubtful. Yeah, for Hazard the... is doubtful for this game. Sure, uh, Rodrigo has proved himself, but but yeah. uh, Asensio, he, I think he'd be given a chance. Of course, he'll... Mm -hmm. 
lacks that pace of Rodrigo, that pace of Vasquez and Bale. But uh, you know, with just a sheer ability that guy has on his left foot. So uh, I think so. If we consider this clash with City and Madrid, I think so. Uh, since City lost on to the Premier League. they might want to uh, win this one because it's very clear that they uh, now really have a shot at this champions league with manchester city's squad depth i think uh, they'll have a shot at the Premier, uh, the ucl this season UCL. because only thing they will have to show this season will be the ucl if they win it because otherwise yeah. whatever they have done this season will be a trophyless season de bruyne's yeah. magical season yeah. see how, what have you won nothing David Silva's a, last season David Silva's at last Manchester season. City, mm. and of the course, first UCL. They'll be highly, yeah, first UCL. They'll be highly motivated to go into this tie because, they, of course, they did their job at the Santiago Bernabeu because it was uh, very. It, it is a tremendous um, thing to do because they got the two away goals at the Bernabeu, mm. and now the, all they have to do is just not concede and try to score a goal. How difficult that is! I mean, see, see, football is in here. It's a simple sport. The great Johan yeah. Cruyff has said, "Don't yes, concede for win the game." Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, I don't think City will ever have this much of a chance to chance win the actually. UCL. The teams that are considered proper championship materials this season are Bayern Munich and uh, Manchester City. So Manchester I think City. they won't have this much of a big shot at shot the title. At the title, uh, City will be without Aguero and Mendy. They'll definitely miss Aguero at the front since uh, both the teams have lost their main talisman, if you will. Uh, Madrid without uh, Ramos, of course, that will be a huge, huge blow for them because Mad- um, because Ramos is the leader, he is the general or whatever you want to call him. Probably the Ballon d'Or winner for you. As yeah, you I, I had told pay. that he came up trumps <laughs> in the back line and the front. And yes, of course. So. I think so. This is going to be a big, big clash. What are your prediction? You will still go for City to win? Because as I told you earlier, the Madrid team has uh, concentrated on the back line and built their team uh, around that, and the main yeah. cog they in the wheel has lost. Has been lost. Yeah, of course, because the way they have won this La Liga without any disrespect to the Real Madrid. fans or the manager or the players they have done a good job but they have been just scraping wins with the penalties with the supposed they the referee biasing supposed. i should get into that yeah <laughs> supposed it of course forgive me guys uh, but they managed to win the la liga was it was given the perfect ammunition because of barcelona handing them the trophy That's a huge. So, that's a topic you've already discussed in your previous videos. That's a different topic. We won't be getting to that. So Champions League is back, guys. This is our first prediction video. We talk about who enters in the previous video, and we'll also be bringing up for you the matches of Bayern Munich, Chelsea, and what else? Barca versus Napoli, of course. So stay tuned. And at we'll Atlanta, see you guys. Of course, Atlanta, Atlanta PSG, Atletico Madrid. Of yeah. course, those are the quarterfinal games. We'll be covering the, all of them, so just hang in there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't up till now, and uh, say, say goodbye to Sujit first. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> It's been a pleasure doing this. I hope you, have, you guys have fun watching me doing this. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, they they love you, bro. I have been getting uh, mentions and uh, comments about who is this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right, so yeah. I'll see you guys. Until next time, peace out. Bye.